This is clearly the killer spot along the hike to downtown Andover, Shashin Greenway. There's one longer esker over here, off through the woods up this way, fairly close, isn't it? Rail line that goes all the way up to Maine. Amtrak uses it. And then we have beaver activity since last year. This wasn't here in my previous visit. A new beaver dam. Everyone dreads these things because they are disruptive. But on the other hand, they're kind of charming. <laughs> so we have a new, brand new baby beaver dam. There's some arrowhead taking advantage of this opportunity. There's the Shasheen coping with its momentary blockage. There's the trail up to the top of the little esker thing that has graciously accommodated me for the past half hour or so while I sat and watched birds. Highly recommend it. And there, of course, the reason for it all. Our pal, the Shasheen. And as a bonus, here's some examples of avid beaver gnawing. It looks like they nailed an oak tree. Probably didn't taste very good. Uh, <laughs> I last yeah, their gnarings were closer to Pomp's Pond. So they're wandering. Probably need all their stuff for that other location and need to find a new one. <laughs> Beavers. So far, <clears throat> in my effort to do due diligence, see if there's any substance to the frustrated local woman's complaint. I did find this. It's a crushed Pepsi can, which I shall take out with me, of course. This is probably the highlight of today. I have a sense, although who knows? Now we're moving northward towards downtown Andover. Oh, there's an interesting color down there. I'll have to investigate. It's like elders or something. thing. Should soon be coming to a point where everything tightens and railroad and river nearly meet with this little sliver of trail to separate them. Maybe I'll see a freight run. I don't see any easy way to get to those blossoms. I'll have to keep an eye for other versions. Like that might be commuter rail. Yeah, the water level's a little lower since the beavers interceded. Ah, 
absolutely outstanding late summer day. And the apparition of yet another mushroom to document. Yeah, tracks are closer. Kind of a moist pine forest situation. getting <coughs> close to the rail line. I can get a glimpse of the passenger train. I've noticed this phenomenon elsewhere this year. This strange yellow premature spotting some of the ground cover. I saw it in Wellesley. I've seen it be an element of drought. Who knows? Chickadees are their usual curious and cordial selves, I see. Good Lord. Majestic pines are a defining feature of this set of riverside parcels. times the girth of this majestic thing. Yee. Some sort of midden from the red squirrel it looks like. Must be a place to nibble pine cone nuts. Something in the Pisiform family is doing its rant rant ahead of me. This has got to be woodpecker heaven. This almost sounds. Great run. Or Amtrak. Something. 
something else whistling. Busy, busy, busy. Old Melon keeps this line, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. Another one of these infernal bridges. This one looks old. And it's another crossing of Vernal Streams, which is actually considered sound wildlife management practices. And then we have this abomination. Oh no, heart be still. See that? That's a bridge. I investigated it earlier to get a sense of how close we are to rail. There's rail. I hear it approaching, maybe. So, I visited the tracks briefly. And what we have is a nice convergence. That bridge is a trail that follows the railway line more closely and this shoes to the reasonably dry proximity of the river. Chugging a freight rail. It's different from the sounds of passenger Here we have the Grand Convergence. There's rail nearby. Over there. The bridge is up that way. The new bridge. I haven't even encountered reports of this bridge in the Andover Trail Committee website. They must be really busy. 